Welcome to class. Today we are going to learn how to pronounce the ED. This is a very important sound because the ED appears frequently in many words in the English language. And of course, we use ED to create the past tense. So you will see this at the end of many words in English. However, it's a sound that is commonly mispronounced by students and they struggle with this. Why? Well, in English, the ED creates three sounds. That's right, three separate sounds. So if we use the first example with the word wanted, you notice the ED at the end, and you notice the sound that that ED makes, wanted, id. So the first sound that the ED makes in English is the id sound, such as in wanted, needed. The second sound, that the ED makes is a D sound, such as in the word loved, loved. Do you hear the D? And the third sound that the ED makes in English is a T sound. For example, in the word helped, helped. So three separate sounds. You'll be happy to know that there is a grammar rule that helps us to know which sound to use. Which sound do you think most students use? that they give to all the words that end in ed. That's right, it's the id sound. So instead of saying loved, what I often hear is loved, loved, but that's not correct. Or helped becomes helped, helped. That's not correct, it's helped, t sound. So the grammar rule, as you can see from this box is, we look at the last letter right before the ED, and that tells us which sound we're supposed to give it. So with the id sound, we only give the id sound if the last letter before the ED is a T or a D. And you'll notice in the next column with the D sound and then with the T sound, we're looking just at the last letter, if that letter is a P, K, F, a G, H, S, H, C, H, S, S, C, or X, we give it a T sound. And then if we're going to give it a D sound, that last letter has to be an L, an N, an R, a G, a V, an S, a Z, an M, or an M. So that's how we know. That's the grammar rule. So you might be thinking, oh my goodness, how in the world will I remember? Do I have to check the letter and then remember? One of the best ways to learn this is through reading. So I would not suggest memorizing all of this. I certainly understand why we give it one of those three sounds. But learn through reading. You should just know when you see the word, for example, loved, that it's a D sound, that it's pronounced loved because we use it frequently, we hear it often, and it's loved. If you ask a native speaker, why is it loved and not loved? they really won't know the grammar rule. It's because we didn't learn to pronounce words using this grammar rule. So hopefully you're more comfortable understanding why the ED is difficult and that it has three sounds in English. Be careful, don't give the id sound to every ED word in the English language, and that's often what students do. See you in my next class.